30 Little Known Things About Kate Middleton Since she married Prince William, Kate has become a patron of numerous charities, launched a mental health campaign, showed off her photography skills, and much more. Nevertheless, while Kate has been a common name for quite some time now, the royal was once a normal student who grew up playing hockey and tennis. Here are 30 things you didn't know about the Duchess of Cambridge. Number 1. Kate Middleton's Birth Fact number one is that Kate was born on January 9, 1982 in Reading, England, which makes her 41 in 2023. She is the only daughter of Michael and Carol Middleton who founded the Party Pieces Mail Order Company. Kate was raised in the village of Bucklebury, Berkshire, and attended St. Andrew's School in Pangburn. She later attended Marvel College and the University of St. Andrews in Scotland before she met her future husband, Prince William. Number 2. She attended Marlboro College Though you were always curious about what brand Kate is wearing, you might have no idea that Kate is one of the Marlboro graduates. Our princess attended Marlboro College in Wiltshire, England from September 2001 to July 2005. And during her time there, she was a member of the school's combined cadet force and enjoyed playing field hockey. She also participated in various clubs and societies, including the Debating Society, Art Club, and Music Club. She excelled academically, earning top marks in her GCSE and an A-level in exams. Other than that, she also represented her school in charity events, raising money for various causes. And thus, from her college days, Kate was an active member of the college's student body taking part in student council activities and contributing to school life in a variety of ways. Apart from those, social activities such as trips and outings with her classmates were always her thing. Number 3. She is an art history student. She studied art history at the Art of University of St. Andrews. After her college, similarly to William, she also took a gap year and undertook a Raleigh International program in Chile. After that, Kate began at the University of St. Andrews the same year as William on the same course before he switched subjects, graduating in 2005 with a 2 to 1 in History of Art. Number 4. She Met William The University of St. Andrews isn't only significant because study art history there, but because she met her future husband, Prince William, at this university during the same major. Reports suggest that Prince William and Princess Kate first met while attending the University of St. Andrews in Scotland in 2001. They were both studying art history at the school and became friends first. In the couple's official engagement interview in 2010, Kate said she went bright red when she met the prince and scuttled off feeling very shy. They began dating in 2003 and had an on-again, off-again relationship until finally being engaged in 2010. They were married in 2011 in a royal ceremony at Westminster Abbey in London. Number 5. Kate is both a duchess and a princess. When Kate married Prince William in 2011, the late queen gave her the official title Her Royal Highness, HRH, the Duchess of Cambridge. But in the UK, only women who were born as princesses and women who obtain princely status through marriage take on the stylized titles of their husbands. And that is why her official name as a princess, William, in it, which makes her a princess and a duchess both. However, after Queen's death, she is the Duchess of Cambridge. Number 6. She is the eldest of three children. She is the eldest of a family of five with parents Michael and Carol Middleton, a younger sister Philippa, Pippa, and a younger brother James. Number 7. Her parents own a successful company called Party Pieces. Party Pieces is an online retailer of party supplies and is worth an estimated 30 million pounds, or about 39.5 million US dollars, according to Money Magazine. Her parents met on a flight while her father was a passenger and her mother was a flight attendant, and they got married in June 1980. Number eight, Kate used to model for her parents' company. As a child, according to Claudia Joseph, the author of Kate, The Making of a Princess, 
Kate and Pippa both used to model for Party Pieces catalogs. The two would wear t-shirts with their ages on them and hold cupcakes in the photos, Joseph told CNN Money in 2011. Carol also wrote a blog post for Party Pieces' 30th anniversary and mentioned that the three children have played a huge part in the company, including modeling for its catalogs. Number 9. Kate launched a division of Party Pieces in 2008. Kate has also reportedly launched a section of the company called First Birthdays in 2008, focused on providing party supplies for babies. Reports also suggest that Kate created First Birthdays in her blog post for Party Pieces' 30th anniversary. Number 10. Kate is an avid sportswoman and enjoys skiing, tennis, and running. As you, she was very active in her school and college. It is no surprise that Kate loves physical sports and in fact, according to the Royal Family's official website, Kate loves sports, nature, and the outdoors. A passion that stems from her own experience of playing tennis and hockey and sailing from a young age. Number 11. Kate went to the same boarding school as Princess Eugenie. Another fact that a few know about Kate is that she went to Marlborough College, a co-ed boarding school in Wiltshire, UK, in her teenage years as Princess Eugenie. Number 12. Kate and Will were roommates. While you may know that they went to the same college, you may not know that they were actually flatmates. According to the prince, his relationship with the Duchess blossomed after they became flatmates. We just spent more time with each other, had a good giggle, had lots of fun, and realized we shared the same interests and just had a really good time," Will said in the 2010 interview. Kate's got a really naughty sense of humor, which helps me because I've got a really dry sense of humor," the Duke added. Number 13. She worked as an accessories buyer for British clothing retailer Jigsaw. In December 2006, according to a spokeswoman for the retailer, Kate joined the company's staff as an accessories buyer for Jigsaw and Jigsaw Jr. Number 13. She and Will briefly broke up in 2007. Her relationship with Will hasn't been so straightforward, and in fact, in April 2007, The Sun reported that the couple made an amicable agreement to part ways, according to the BBC. However, the couple reportedly got back together three months later in July, according to The Sun. We were both very young, Will said about the breakup. We were both finding ourselves and being different characters and stuff. It was very much trying to find our own way and we were growing up. Kate said that while she wasn't very happy about the split at the time, it ultimately made her a stronger person. She is an accomplished painter, having painted a portrait of her husband for his 35th birthday. Number 14. Kate spent two months training to cross the English Channel on a dragon boat. According to reports in 2007, Our Highness joined an all-female dragon boat crew called the Sisterhood, who was training to race across the English Channel against an all-male crew to raise money for charity. However, the Duchess later had to withdraw from the race, reportedly due to safety concerns stemming from the increased press attention. Number 15. Kate's engagement ring belonged to the late Princess Diana. In 1981, the late Princess Diana selected her own engagement ring from a selection by Gerard & Company, then the crown jeweler for the royal family. And nearly three decades later, Prince William proposed to Kate with the famous sapphire ring in 2010. Number 16. Kate's wedding dress had a twist. Following the Time Arnold bridal tradition of wearing something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue, according to the BBC. Kate's something old was a traditional Carrick Macross lace-making technique used to create her gown, designed by Alexander McQueen's creative director, Sarah Burton. And her something blue was a blue ribbon sewn into the interior of her wedding dress. Her something new was a pair of diamond earrings gifted by her parents. Her something borrowed was a Cartier Halo Tiara on loan from the Queen. 
According to Express, the blue ribbon, which symbolizes good luck, was also sewn into the gown of Princess Diana when she married Prince Charles in 1981. Number 17. Second Gown For her evening wedding reception, Kate chose to wear another Alexander McQueen design, a strapless satin gown with a sweetheart neckline and embellished belt. The Duchess paired the dress under a cropped mohair jacket. Number 18. A Mental Health Campaign Harry, Kate, and William launched Heads Together in May 2016 to help end stigma around mental health. The campaign works with various charities to raise awareness about mental health issues and help people ask for and find support. We must tackle the stigma that stops people asking for help in the first place, Kate said in a speech in World Mental Health Day in October 2016. We want to encourage people to talk to one another. Number 19. Her favorite TV shows include Downton Abbey, Game of Thrones, and Homeland. In a 2017 interview with BBC Radio 1, Will said he and Kate are quite keen on box sets and particularly love watching HBO's Game of Thrones and Showtime's Homeland. In 2015, Will also revealed during a special tribute to ITV's Downton Abbey that the drama was one of his and Kate's favorite television programs. Number 20. She loves photography. According to the royal family's official website, Kate is a keen photographer and an honorary member of the Royal Photographic Society. Not only that, but Kensington Palace also has shared some of Kate's professional shots online, which are often of her children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. From featuring Princess Charlotte's first day at school and Prince Louis taking his first baby steps, to Prince George playing with colors or simply beaming with joy, every photo taken by the Duchess portrays how the royal family shares similar moments like any of us. Number 21. Kate and Prince William have a pet dog named Lupo. In a 2014 interview with Good Morning America, Kate's younger brother James said that he gave Lupo, a Cocker Spaniel, to Kate and Will as a wedding gift. Number 22. She and the Queen share a name. For those who didn't know, Kate's full name is Catherine Elizabeth Middleton and her middle name, Elizabeth, is the same as the Queen's first name. Number 23. She made chutney for the Queen. In a 2016 ITV documentary titled Our Queen at 90, Kate revealed that she gifted the Queen homemade chutney for her first Christmas at Sandringham. I thought back to what I would give my own grandparents, said Kate, adding, and I thought I'll make her something, which could have gone horribly wrong but I decided to make my granny's recipe of chutney. Number 24. Kate is a patron of several charities, including the National Portrait Gallery and the Royal Foundation. Catherine, even before her marriage, was an active supporter of various charitable causes, including the National Portrait Gallery and the Royal Foundation. In fact, she has been a patron of the gallery since 2013. She has visited the gallery on several occasions, including for the gallery's 200th anniversary celebrations in 2018. She has also been a patron of a number of other charities, including Action on Addiction, East Anglia's Children's Hospices, Place to Be, and the Natural History Museum. Number 25. Dog Lover. Other than Lupo, Kate has two other rescue dogs a black cocker spaniel named Tilly and a retriever cross named Zulu. She is an ambassador for the British Fashion Council and has worked with several major fashion labels. Number 26. Kate was named one of the most influential people in the world by Time Magazine in 2018. The Duchess of Cambridge was named one of the most influential people in the world by Time Magazine in 2018 making her the first member of the British royal family to be included in the magazine's prestigious Time 100 list. In her own words, Middleton said she was humbled to be included in the list, which included celebrities like Beyonce, Rihanna, Taylor Swift, as well as world leaders like Donald Trump and Angela Merkel. Middleton was lauded for her work to normalize conversations around mental health, as well as her support of organizations like Heads Together, 
a charitable organization that works to improve the mental health of young people. The article in Time Magazine also praised Middleton's ability to connect with people, her dedication to her charity work, and her unwavering commitment to make a difference. Number 27. She is the first member of the royal family to have a university degree. I think it isn't too late to reveal that Kate Middleton is the first royal to have a university degree. In fact, she was also the first member of the British royal family to have a degree from a British university. Number 28. Kate Middleton wasn't officially introduced to the Queen for five years. In a post-engagement video with William in 2010, Kate revealed that she first met the Queen at the wedding of Peter Phillips, son of Anne, Princess Royal, to Autumn. I first met her at Peter and Autumn's wedding. It was amongst a lot of other guests and she was very friendly, she said. While William and Kate were working out the first five years of their on-off relationship, the Queen steered clear of meeting his girlfriend. Although they were in the same room on at least three occasions, there was zero interaction between the two women, reported Pop Sugar. Number 29. The princess is allergic to horses. Can you imagine being a royal member but can never sit on horseback? That is Kate for you. Kate doesn't ride purely because she didn't do it growing up. William and Harry were taught from an early age, but the only time they ride now is for polo. They don't go off on hacks like the queen always has according to Town & Country Moody. However, the other reason is more serious. Daily Mail, citing a Reader's Digest edition, reported in 2009 that Kate had told Australian author Kathy Lett that she was allergic to horses during a society polo match. It is no surprise that Our Highness has since never been photographed observing horses from up close and even patting them on occasion even though it was reported in 2011 that the Duchess was working to overcome her allergy by spending more time with horses. Number 30. She is an ambassador for the British Red Cross and works to promote their global initiatives. The Duchess of Cambridge has been an ambassador for the British Red Cross since 2012. In this role, she has joined the organization's efforts to support those affected by disasters, both in the UK and internationally. To show her full support, she has visited a number of Red Cross projects in the UK, including a project to help families affected by flooding in Carlisle, and a project to help vulnerable people living in London. Internationally, she has visited such countries as India and Pakistan, where she has helped to raise awareness of the Red Cross's work and its life-saving activities. She has also joined the Red Cross's efforts to bring emergency help to those affected by the Syrian refugee crisis visiting camps in Jordan to help draw attention to their plight. In addition, Kate has spoken out about the importance of mental health support for those affected by humanitarian crisis and has actively encouraged people to make donations to the Red Cross. Number 31. She is the first royal to appear on the cover of British Vogue. Kate is the first British royal to appear on the cover of British Vogue in its 103-year history. The Duchess of Cambridge is the image of modern elegance on the July 2020 cover of the magazine. She was photographed by photographer Josh Allens and styled by Vogue's fashion director Lucinda Chambers for the cover. The accompanying photo shoot for the magazine took place at Kensington Palace, where Kate is often seen, and featured the Duchess dressed in a series of elegant British designs, including a white blouse from London-based designer Alexander McQueen a tweed skirt from Massimo Dutti, and a floral print blouse from British high street brand Ghost. The issue of Vogue also features an in-depth interview with the Duchess, where she discusses her work with the Royal Foundation, her passion for photography, and her experience as a mother of three. The interview marks the first time a Royal has taken part in a photo shoot and interviewed for the magazine. From her childhood in Berkshire to her royal wedding, Kate Middleton has become an icon of style and grace. We've just scratched the surface of her fascinating life, so be sure to keep exploring her story. After all, there's always more to learn about the incredible Kate Middleton. This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook to get updated with so much latest content and a chance to get to know us better. See you next time.